Welcome to Smart Conserva. I knew about the prepaid electricity smart meters. The electricity smart meters, the prepaid one, it uses a top-up system for the user to apply any amount of money he or she so desires. And this will enable the, enable the householders to gain access to electricity that is equivalent to the amount of money that is applied to this smart meter. What I was not aware of that even existed was the prepaid water meters. And if you were to really think about it, using a prepaid system, whether electricity or water, it really means different things to different persons. Also, while you and I may have the benefit of turning on a faucet, and there comes the water, some persons, even in our own country, they don't have that luxury. Some persons have to be setting up buckets or drums just to be able to catch a little rainwater to use. The privilege of having water in our pipes, it really should be made available to all of us. Some of us who pay for our water after it is being used, that is called a postpaid system, we really waste the precious commodity and we waste it by either deliberate means or by having leaks which happens from time to time. Please, I'm not saying that if these persons had a prepaid water meter, you know, then the water cannot be wasted as well. In fact, it can, but the persons paying for it before they get the water, they would really think twice about wasting this water deliberately and knowing very much well that they are going to pay for this waste before it is being before the even or they're paying for this waste before i do like the idea of the prepaid water system as i see how i can really use it to my advantage the prepaid water meter it doesn't really exist in my country in fact it doesn't exist none at all in my country I'm not sure if the powers that be will consider it in the future. I don't know. You know me, I'm curious. And I wanted to explore this prepaid water meter some more. I really wanted to know exactly how it works. And I wanted to know what it really was. It was difficult getting a picture or even a video of this prepaid water meter as like I tell you my country don't carry these thanks though to a subscriber all the way in Brazil and he made it possible there is a basic principle behind water consumption and in relation to the prepaid water meter it means that water consumptions are estimated or even calculated by the householder or the user. Whatever estimation or calculation is done, then this cost that is associated with it is applied by loading the credit to the water meters using some form of smart card. Each prepaid water meter has its own smart card no two prepaid water meters can't use the same smart card to add this credit. The credit, when applied, it will allow the valve that is within the water meter to close and open depending on the amount of credit which is applied. So take for instance, a $100 credit is applied, then the minute or the very second that this $100 is applied, the valve of the water meter is opened. This will enable the householder or the user to get water through the faucets within their homes. Whenever this $100 credit is finished, then that same valve that is in the water meter, it closes to prevent water to enter the home. 
the valve with the water meter will open and close whenever credit is applied or whenever credit is finished. The water meter has a counter and this enable the user to determine how much gallons of water will equate to the $100 credit that is applied or whatever money that is applied. The electronic display, it will show the total credit that you have left as well as the total water that you consumed. Whatever tariff is applied to the water, it will be received and applied to the credit that the householder have and it will affect the quantity of water that the consumer receives. Now that I've introduced you to the prepaid water meters, let's look at the MITs, advantages and disadvantages if any. With the prepaid utilities, you will find persons expressing how much cheaper it is than using a postpaid system. Is it really true though? Nah, no it's not. This is a myth. Think about it from the supplier's perspective. If you as a supplier, you're providing a prepaid or a postpaid water service to consumers, why would you really offer one service at a cheaper cost over the other when the output is the same? Both customers are getting the same thing, which is the water. Prepaid and postpaid water, it will cost exactly the same. Now, that being said, prepaid water, it gives the consumers the opportunity to monitor their consumption and they will be able to react immediately to possible leaks. This monitoring will be necessary for prepaid users, especially as the aim will be to pay for what they use and not what was wasted. Don't get me wrong now, I'm not saying that the postpaid water users, they don't monitor. The thing is, more aggressive monitoring will be done by the users who have the prepaid water system. Think of it, if the consumers have set their limits and they, there is a need to monitor it, who you think will want to know when the water that is needed most is not available? They will need to know, so they are going to monitor it. Now, making the decision to move from a postpaid water system to a prepaid water system, it can be a bit difficult as you're required to calculate or to judge your water usage. Now the difficulty herein lies when you have things like you have a farm or even a garden and you're not sure as to the daily requirements of plants and crops to grow. It would be good to have a prepaid water system to, be keep, to keep track of your water balance and usage. This way you're able to see when something is taking up too much water. This is a good advantage to having a prepaid water system. Another advantage would benefit landlords greatly. If tenants refuse to pay because they disagree with the amount that they are billed for, or if property owners have an unoccupied home and it has a water leak, then a prepaid water system would work best in these circumstances. People tend to be mindful of water usage when they can be held accountable for it. Other advantages include, one, you're in, you're in control of how much and how often you top up. Two, you don't have to worry about creating a water bill as you have purchased it before you even use it. And the third one is, you don't receive any bills. You pay in advance. The disadvantage of a prepaid water system on the other hand, is more for suppliers and not necessarily for consumers. The disadvantage is that there's a high operating cost. And like I said, Unless the costs are passed on to you, the consumers, they will not affect you. The big question is though, 
Would I switch to a prepaid water system? Yeah, I feel I could monitor my usage better with the aim of reducing my usage and saving money. Like I said, this system is not available in my country and I do have a postpaid water system. If I really think about it, I know or I think I'll be able to manage a prepaid water system, but until it is introduced in my country, I'll have to use the, the prepaid, the postpaid one that I have currently to my advantage. You know what would be good though? If persons who have this prepaid water system using, if they could come and speak with me, tell me about it. Tell me what it is that you like about it or what you don't like about it. I'm not sure if you were introduced to a postpaid one before, but the fact that I now have the postpaid one, I think switching over to a prepaid one would give me a better idea as to what you are feeling. However, it's not in my country. And please remember, like I say, the aim is conservation. And if we do this, our pockets will thank us for it. You have come to the end of another series. Join us next time for more ways to conserve.